All right, so uh, update here. I got some stuff done. <laughs> you can't see it from there. But uh, I am on the verge of starting this thing up. So uh, I shall soon. Also, uh, the manifold on the K20 and the K24 are different. Uh, for the exhaust manifold and probably the intake I don't know I didn't check that but for sure the exhaust because it didn't fit uh, it wouldn't reach the pipe uh, the rest of the, the tubing for the exhaust I don't know if you can see that up there but it couldn't reach so I was able to uh, replace it on the car and now it reaches and it's bolted on and it's ready to go so now he's gonna add some lubricant and cross my fingers and then hopefully start her up with no problem we'll be right back for that okay so I finally got coolant in here and uh, and this is a coolant tube that's why it's leaking so this is a coolant line it's leaking a little bit I need to cover that up because it's freaking leaking coolant um, but anyway uh, as of now I just want to see if it uh, if it starts up so I don't have everything in yet I did put the uh, knuckle in it's still loose I tightened up the, the um, what's it called axle axle nut but uh, I still need this so so I gotta go through this make sure everything's tightened up but anyway as of now I just want to start it up and see if it comes on live it comes alive with our our little 2.0 goes nothing oh there you go no check engine light so I didn't miss anything Good. Uh, 215,000 miles on this guy. <clears throat> well, this one has less miles. But this is a K20 here. So, starts up. No problem. Alright. So, now that we know it starts up, I'm going to tidy it all up. Tighten it all up and get this ready to go yes sir so here we are driving the car and it seems not to have any issues so far 30 miles per hour driving just fine 